Welcome back to Pacific Beach Street. Coming up, Nathan King is here at our house. But first, Kalia learns to play an internationally recognized sport for the blind, go ball. Ready? Throw me the ball. Throw it at me. <laughs> Sports. Imagine being surrounded by blackness and all you can hear is this bell coming closer and closer towards you. What am I talking about? It's a sport specifically designed for blind athletes called goalball. But what's involved? And can I play it even though I'm not blind? Let's find out. Guys, meet Charles Tohuri. He is a champion goalball player. Charles, I've never heard of goalball. Can you explain what it is? Sure. Goalball, it's a sensory game for blind and vision impaired mainly. And basically what we're doing is we've got a ball and it's got some bells in it. And the idea is to roll that ball from one end of the court to the other, past the three defending players into the goal. So how can you play it if you can't see the ball coming towards you? Well, we have to use our other senses. So we're using touch and our hearing. And basically the ball, when it comes towards us, we try and react by blocking the ball with our bodies, and then standing up and returning the ball by bowling it underarm as fast as we can. How long has goal ball been around? Gold War was developed after the Second World War to help rehabilitate uh, soldiers. And then from there, it just sort of developed into the blind community. And now it's played at the Paralympics. Can you tell us what degree of blindness you have? In good light, say like if we're in sunlight or something, I can probably see with clarity to about four to five metres. So I can see you can things see like me? Your, Yeah, like your facial features I see and you. that kind of <laughs> yeah. thing. But if we were like to get in, say, like dull lighting or even at night, maybe only about 5%, not even that. Do you have to be blind to play goalball? Not at all. So As I could have gonna, a go? Exactly, you're going to about to find out. So. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So Charles, can you tell us about the protective gears you've just put on? Uh, some knee pads, some elbow pads, some blacked out ski goggles. Oh, so that's so I don't see what's happening. That's right. For the ladies, they'll have chest protection and for the guys, they'll have a groin protector, which... Yeah. And so tell me about this ball. It makes noise? Yep, it's got some bells inside of it. And when it's going a bit fast, it can be a bit sore, but you'll experience that soon, I'm sure. OK, well, I think I'd better put these gears on then. <laughs> OK, Charles, I'm all cluttered up. What's the first thing you'd show me? Let's go ahead and uh, learn how to throw the ball. So that's the throwing side. Yeah. What about having the ball thrown at you? You try to listen for the ball, so when you go to block the ball, if you think the ball's going on this side of you, then you will go like this. Can yep. you see my arm is over my face? Oh, so you don't smash your nose? Yeah. <laughs> so you might want to do that. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Think I'm ready for a game. <laughs> I can see. That was amazing. I have so much respect for you guys that play on a national level. Yeah, that was good. You did really well. Thank you. Thanks to Charles yep. and everyone here at Foundation of the Blind for showing us about goalball. If you want to find out more information, check out the website below. We'll see you back at the house. Bye. Bye. Nathan King's passion for music has seen him win awards and travel the world, from being frontman of band Z to now being a solo musician. So what drives him? And how's the journey been so far? Well, let's find out. On your way, driver. New Zealand, this is the talented Mr. Nathan King. How's it going, my friend? Welcome well. to the Folly, bro. Thank you, thank you. Now, can you tell us what were your first memories of performing and singing music? Mm. I think when I was like a real little guy, maybe three, four, five years old, Dad used to bust out the acoustic guitar. Yeah. He only had like a, a few chords that he knew, but he'd like strum them together and, and try and make up a bit of a song on the spot, <laughs> which was so cool. It seeped into my, my, my brain as a little young guy and, yeah. and it, it helped me kind of get on the path to writing my own songs as well. So, When did you start getting serious about your music? At high school, um, myself and I uh, met some friends and we formed Zed, the band. From there we were just playing every opportunity we could really. Next thing we knew, we had like a first single that we took the radio and they really loved it, so it just went crazy for me. Yeah. yeah. What made you go solo? 
Z had been together about nine years by the time we ended the band. I guess we'd had enough of doing what we were doing and we were interested in getting into some other genres of music. For myself, I was probably wanting to mellow things out a little bit and be less pop rock and, and just kind of start getting a bit more organic with my sounds and stripping it back and, and, and redeveloping things from a more kind of rootsy, grassy feel, you know? Stuck in a leaking boat With this message that I wrote and now your first solo album is just about to drop. Are yep. you excited? Bro? Oh, totally, dude. I'm pumped, eh? It's, uh, it's been a long time making it from, you know, writing the songs in the early days through to demoing them, then recording them, and, and getting to the point where I'm real happy with them, and then taking them to radio and, and just seeing what people think. Like, the first single, Never Too Late, is a song that really, like, focuses on not giving up. And if you're passionate about something, like, going for your goals and your dreams. And, yeah, even though there'll be hard times, it's still worth, you know, digging in and hanging in there. So, yeah. Nathan, before you head off, I've got three flatties in the garage that would love to hear you sing. Bro, I'd be, I'd be honoured. Let's do it. Nathan King! That's our show for this week. Thanks to you guys for watching. Remember to log on to the website for prizes and information on the show. Thanks to all the beautiful guests who starred this week. And to take us away right now, it's Nathan King and his guitarist, Joe. I'm caught in the middle now When I should have gone around I'll put up some kind of fight now I can't go left or right But I know it's never too late at all And I'm desperate to breathe It's never too late at all This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.